My name is Mi Miao and uh, I'm studying in Westminster University for a PhD degree. I'm a first year PhD student here. Today's presentation actually grows out of my doctoral research project which looks at uh, which is looking at the intermediate agenda setting process between online uh, commercial news websites and traditional news, uh, news media. My main point is that um, commercial news website is using traditional uh, newspapers material for free and they are taking no responsibility. Um, there are 78.7% uh, uh, of uh, internet users actually view internet news regularly. It is not the right model for newspapers to develop. Uh, because new, um, traditional newspaper journalists are actually under great pressure from the state um, uh, uh, to of, from the state control and, and also uh, great pressure for uh, higher uh, advertisement revenue and now the traditional newspaper is um, in a very serious competition with commercial news websites in achieving advertisement revenue commercial news website uh, is under less control um, compared to the traditional newspapers. Um, there are main two reasons. First reason is technology uh, reasons, and the second reason is different administration, uh, dis different administrative systems. Because all the newspapers in China have to register with the state publicity uh, department, which is a propaganda department. So uh, all the newspapers have to follow the government's propaganda. But for the commercial, commercial news websites, they have to register with the press office, which is uh, under the state council. So they do not ask um, um, the commercial news websites to follow any uh, propaganda agenda. But the main reason is because of uh, technological reason. Uh, because the commercial news websites are not only publishing news articles, they are also running a bulletin board service which is available for internet users to put whatever they want to put on it. They can put any comments on uh, government, on political issues. So, but those, for those informations, it is difficult to gov for government to censor every day. Online journalism is actually do not exist in China because um, on one hand, Chinese government has the right to block any websites in China. For example, YouTube is blocked in China and um, Twitter is blocked in China. So um, if a website um, which is written by an individual and published some sensitive information, um, it will easily be blocked in, in mainland of China. So that's why um, it is a long way to go.